Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to year 2015. So I wanted to do a bit of an update and also to do a me, the me time tag because my friends, my beautiful friends, Calais and Tracy, if you guys know them already if you watch my channel enough, they have their own channels which I'll link below and you can check out their me time tags. But thank you girls for tagging me. They are amazing and they are beautiful people and like the, the videos that they put out and the work that they do is just it's amazeballs. So you guys need to check out their channel and check out their videos. But I'm going to jump right into this tag and please stay till the end to hear some updates and some exciting news about um, where my channel is going into and I also have a new blog. So if you're interested in any of that, stay tuned until the end. Okay, the first question is, what do you watch or read during me time? Um, so if I guess during me time for reading, I like to read a lot of fiction books, but I also love, love probably more so than anything, I love reading a lot of leadership books, like How to Grow in Leadership, um, a lot of strategic books, um, it's kind of like the get it, how to get it done in life books. I just, I love those because I feel like there's so much you can learn from them and it's character building. Um, and I love the idea of constantly being able to feed myself so that I'm constantly learning and I'm constantly growing because I never want to stay, I never want to stay in the same place. I want to be constantly growing and maturing in my character, my mind, my emotions, my everything. So I love spending time reading books like that in my me time. Um, for things that I watch, I am a Netflix girl. I definitely watch anything from, I can watch anything. I love comedies hands down. Um, my, um, Modern Family is hilarious and I love watching that with my husband. Um, I watch a lot of Disney movies. I also, I love, in general, I love watching fantasy movies. Anything that has to do with like the imagination and fantasy fiction, I love. One of my number one all-time favorite movies is Pan's Labyrinth and I just think it's such a beautiful story. Um, intertwining reality with fantasy so I think it was just beautifully done and then, like that gives you an example of what kind of movies I like to watch. What do you wear during me time? Um, comfy clothes, I like to wear sweatpants and a tank top most of the time um, or if I'm not doing that I kind of flip it where I'm wearing tights and a baggy and comfy and cozy sweater. What are your me time beauty products? Um, my me time beauty products they probably have to be things that are with cleaning and moisturizing my skin. I love it when I take off all my makeup and I'm just soothing my skin with natural oils or very nourishing creams and my skin just feels like refreshed and cozy and like moisturized. It just makes me feel like, you know how kids drink like warm milk to go to bed? Like I feel like I need to wash my face and moisturize it to go to bed. It just puts me in that like cozy mood. And um... Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it what I use for beauty products for me time. By the way, if you don't recognize where I am, I'm actually in my brother's room because I'm staying over my mom's for a bit. My husband and I decided to come and visit my mama's. Next question is, what is your current favorite nail polish? Um, I don't have a specific brand of nail polish. That's my favorite because I'm still looking for a specific color. But what I've been loving lately is... Um, like that deep wine maroon nail polish, but matte version. I, I, I've been seeing it everywhere and I've tried it out a couple of times, but it's just not turning out the way I want it because I need that specific wine color. But a wine nail polish that is matte, it's just, it looks so gorgeous. It looks so beautiful. So that's been my favorite as of right now. What do you eat during, what do you eat or drink during me time? So I am a tea girl. I love drinking teas. Um, I like drinking green teas or like bedtime teas or chamomile teas especially because they're just, I don't know, they're just soothing. I love ginger teas as well. Um, I have this flavor like lemon and ginger one that's really, really good. What do I like to eat during my me time? If I'm being naughty, I will have chocolate. Um, sometimes I like cheese uh, and nuts. Yes. What is your current favorite candle? My current favorite candle, I think I mentioned this previously in my um, the Christmas tag, it would have to be the one from Bath and Body. It's the ba Balsam one, I think it's called. Yeah, and it's, it has that pine scent. 
it has that pine needle scented uh, smell to it. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't speak. Do you ever have outdoor me time? Yes, I do. I love, love taking walks to the park or specifically any parks that have water nearby it. So Prospect Park is amazing because there's a lake by it. and I love just being there, whether it's cold or hot. There's something just tranquil and soothing about being near water. Um, my all-time favorite park to go to is the East River Park in Greenpoint. Um, I've been going there since I was like a kid and I love just standing around and being by the water and seeing the city because it from that that angle it's it's right across the, it's right across the water from the city all, of all of New York so you can see the entire New York City uh, skyline and it's so beautiful I love it I've been going there since as a kid as I mentioned before and this is back when it wasn't an actual park it was all gated off and you couldn't get in and it was private property I think but I used to sneak in anyways and sit by the water and it was just amazing to just be there. Would you ever go see a movie alone? Um, I barely go to the movie theaters with people anyhow or even have the desire to. I guess like I'm a cheapo and I like to save money uh, and I know that I can just watch it when the movie comes out I can just watch it at home for a lot a lot less unless it's a movie that I know it's going to be like amazing and if I if, if it's going to be amazing in theaters I'm definitely going to go to IMAX to see it um, which the last movie I think I saw in theaters was Maleficent and that was so worth seeing it in theaters um, would I ever go alone the thing is I'm such an extroverted person and I love doing things with people so I'm naturally I'm just naturally an includer and I naturally gravitate to being with people but if someone was like, go and try it, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I have no I have no opposition to going alone, let's just say that. But I've never made plans to go alone because I've just never had the desire to. Favorite online shop? Definitely ASOS. I love this, this, the collection of clothes that they carry and the brands that they carry and the range of prices and the styles, which it's just perfect for my taste. And I love their customer service. Oh my god, their customer service is just amazing. They really... And that's what I appreciate about on online companies that really care about their customers. They really look forward to, you know, connecting and making sure that the customer is satisfied. And Amazon is the same exact way. Like, I've, like, I probably live off of Amazon. Like, I had the subscribe and save items. A lot of my equipment that I get sometimes is from Amazon. And if, they're, and if anything ever comes broken or mis like is missing, they always replace it. They're so good about it. And so I really appreciate Amazon and ASOS, companies like that that are online, have great selection of stuff, and their customer service is on point. And the last question is, anything to add? What else do you do during me time? Another thing that I do during me time that is so important to me is journaling. Like I love journaling or writing or reflecting. It gives me time to just get my thoughts out and onto paper. Um, and I tend to do, it tends to allow space for me to create even more, to, you know, get productive, get brainstorming with ideas, because I have so many ideas flowing through my head all the time. So being able to get it out, write it out, write out my feelings, how I'm go what I'm going through and what I'm feeling, um, especially in poetry form. Oh my god, poetry is, is my outlet. And I usually keep that a little bit more private. Um, maybe I'll share more with you guys. If you're interested in that, let me know, comment below. But yeah, so journaling, writing, poetry is definitely a big part of my me time. I love it. I can't go without it. When I try to go out, go without it, it, it kills me. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's another thing that I guess I would say that is very important. It's, that is a very important part of my me time. So that's it pretty much for the questions. Now for the updates. Um, so it is the new year. You guys are all, I'm pretty sure, diving into some resolutions of your own. And I have a lot that I want to do as well and I want to accomplish in this year. And so I'm really excited about 2015. I'm excited about my channel as well and you guys and your my relationship with you guys. I love you guys so much. I thank each and every single one of you for being so supportive, for watching continuously, for sharing and liking the videos. I just love you guys. Like I would not be here and I would not be doing this. Um, I, I don't think I'll be doing it as 
so fully if it wasn't for you guys. Um, and so I love it. I love it. I love you guys. I love doing this and I, I can't wait to do more. And because I want to produce so much more, I also decided to launch the stephanienadia.com blog which you guys can also check out now because it's up and running. There's still some stuff that I am working on, but the bare basics are up there already so you can check out some of the posts that I've put up. There's going to be a lot more on the blog than I do offer here on YouTube because the blog is going to include YouTube, my YouTube videos, but it's also going to include a lot of extra stuff so you guys might want to go check it out. It's going to be a little bit more... Um, it's going to dive a little bit more into the things that I love. Uh, I'm going to be posting up every Monday Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, Mondays I will be diving more into like getting personal, um, sharing my thoughts and my, my ideas, some inspiration, music that I love listening to or something that's been inspiring me lately. Um, just getting more personal with you guys. On Tuesdays I will be sharing a lot more DIYs, like original DIY and some other DIY content that I found um, and that inspire that I am inspired by other bloggers to just get you connect get those connected to you. On Thursdays, as many of you might guess, I will be doing beauty stuff. And it will be beauty tutorials to how-tos to just um, sharing and talking about beauty trends and fashion. I also want to dive more into the fashion realm um, and try to see if I can get some outfit of the days and outfits of the nights out for you guys. And if you're interested in that, let me know. If you're interested in plus-size fashion, let me know. Comment below. I want to make sure that I'm creating content that's relevant to you guys and not boring or pointless. Um, if you guys want to see some other stuff, give me your feedback, give me your suggestions, comment below, email me if you want to, because I love having it, having this be a dialogue and being with you guys and talking to you guys because you guys are my friends and I love it that way. But that's pretty much it. The big update is that I'm launching the stephanienaughty.com blog, so you guys need to check that out. And I will be doing some traveling in the near future, so hopefully I will get to share that with you guys as well. Um, but I am excited for year 2015. I'm excited to take on some of these goals, and I'm excited to hear about you guys and the things that you accomplish. And I'm just excited for us! All right, this is the year, guys. This is another year, another opportunity, another chance to just go at it, go at it hard, believe in yourself, work hard, and see the fruit of your work come alive. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that you're absolutely beautiful. Mwah. Bye.